In this Invivo 12 for Windows demonstration video, we're going to talk about how to work with classifications. A classification is essentially a spreadsheet that has demographic information about files that you're importing or about participants that we might call cases. We're going to work with case classifications in this particular video. If you'll remember, I have a group of students each of whom has some surveys that their families have filled out and there are going to be other data sources that match to a particular child. So what we'd like to be able to do is to have information like is it a male or a female child, does the child speak a language other than English, which school the child is at, who the child's teacher is. We'd like all of those bits of information to be attached to every bit of data that's created by that child or that child's family. So the way to do that is through a classification sheet. Now you can create classifications and classification sheets within NVivo, but in this particular demonstration we're going to show how to import that data from an Excel spreadsheet, which is a way that many research projects would have the data already. So here's the Excel spreadsheet we're going to be using. I already had it open on my desktop. and and you see that it's got the student's name, the school, the ELL status, the language spoken, the ethnicity, gender, and so forth. So now I'm going to go ahead and close that file because if it stays open on the desktop, I will not be able to import it. So I've closed out of that Excel file and I'm going to show you how to import that. Come up to in the main menu to the Import tab, go to the Classifications group, find the Classification Sheet, click on that icon. Uh, we're going to use the Classification Sheets wizard. I'm going to browse out to find that file I was just looking at. It's called Family Backpack Classification Sheet. I'm opening it. Um, on the next window, we're, going to, we're not going to do a file classification. We're going to choose a case classification. I want it to be coded to each child's case. I'm going to leave the checkboxes checked for creating new attributes, updating the classification. I do not want to replace attribute values. Clicking Next. Specify how cases are represented in this file. In this case, they're represented as names. And the location is going to be in the Cases folder to the left here in Navigation View, which will be just fine. So it says specify how dates and times and numbers should be imported. And we do have the month, day, year format in some of the columns. And we're going to tell it to finish, and it's going to import our classifications. You can see that it's just imported the classification sheet. We have the children's names, the school, and so forth. For, for instance, if we look at school, we see that there's a whole set of different codes next to the school. It's either school C or H or S. GV and so forth. So for Adiola, we know what school she went to, we know whether she's an English language learner, we know what, what uh, language she spoke. So by creating cases, we can code all of the files that Adiola and her family created to the Adiola case, and then all of these tags will be attached to every single bit of data that is in that file, which is really a great thing for us. So to, now that we've created our classification sheet, we can also see the cases in list view. And we have a set of files that we've already imported that were the surveys that were created by each child's family. And what we'd like to do is to be able to link each child's survey to the child's case. The way we do that is to come over to list view, open up the surveys. Now I see a list of the children's surveys. I'm going to double click on Paul's survey, remind you what you're seeing there. If I come back to Paul in List View and right click, I select Code. And notice that I can select to code at cases. So I'm going to look for Paul's case. It's right here. And I'm going to code that file to his case. I'm going to do that one more time. Let's do Kayla. I'm going to right click on Kayla, Code. I'm going to look for Kayla's case. Just like we code to a node, we're coding to a case. There is hers, and I click OK, and now it's coded to the case. So if you want to see how this works, let's turn on coding stripes, and uh, we'll say um, all coding. And you'll see that his entire file has been coded to the Paul case node. We can see that from the coding stripe. All of the attributes and their values that are connected to Paul are now coded to this particular file Paul's family created. 